after this once the data is saved successfully to the Firestore database next thing is to save the important data locally as well so for that purpose let's go to our global variables and we will create here an instance of uh, shared preferences for that we have to add the dependency which is by the name shared preferences this one make sure to click pubget so it has been added successfully now what we can do we can simply say shared if it show you this make sure to click on get dependencies okay and then we can say shared let's import the package manually which is shared preferences this one okay and put semicolon at the end like that now we can say shared preferences shared preferences and then on our man dot dot here after the firebase dot initialize app we can simply say shared references wet shared references dot get instance so we initialize shared references in our flutter project now with the help of the shared references we can basically save data locally save retrieve anywhere we want and of course with the same preference instance we can destroy the local data which we saved when there is no need of that we will just destroy or you can say empty the data so anyways now let's come back here and here we can simply say that shared preferences here just we want to make sure that we initialize it again so we can say shared preferences dot get instance and then using this shared preferences instance we can say shared preferences dot set string so we have key that is using this key we will save the value for it and then later if we need the data then using the same key name we can access it with the help of shared references for example most common we will use the seller uid so we can say uid the value of which you already know is current firebase user dot uid so we save the seller uid unique uid by the key name uid to the local storage and with the same key name we can access it anywhere we want in this app make sure to add here that similarly you can say shared preferences dot set string then we will add email which is email and then for the other ones like name and photo url so we can say name which is name and photo url or you can simply say image url and remember the reason why we basically save this data locally is that these are some commonly used data which we will need many times so whenever we need it we will just access it from the local storage of the phone so we do not need to write a query to the first or database and to fetch from the database every time we need it we have we just save it to the local storage and whenever we need it we will just get from there so once it is done once the data is saved in the firestore database saved locally then next thing is to send the user to the home page of this app so after this we can say navigator dot push context comma material page root builder and our main screen which is home screen
for now you know that our home screen is just an empty screen where we have home page in the app bar before testing application make sure to check your firestore database rules it must be set to true and similarly storage rules it must be set to true as well and for the authentication you know our sign in method email password is enabled which we already did in our firebase setup video when we connect our flutter app with the firebase so anyways once you do that now we are ready to test our application so now let's go to the sign up let's choose any image the seller name that is restaurant or cafe name so now let's click on sign up and the uploading start and it is uploaded successfully and we are on the home page now let's verify it so first of all according to the code we will go so according to our code the first thing that execute is, is the create user in firebase auth so let's check authentication you can see that a new seller account is created and each seller has its own unique id and then according to the code the next thing was to upload image so if we go to the storage then you can see that inside the storage we have a folder seller image inside the seller images folder we have that image and then according to the code the third step was to save data to the firestore database so if you go to the firestore database you sellers main collection is created under that to recognize each seller each seller has its own document id which is a unique id as you can see and then under that we have the seller information which you can see now the moment when the account is created successfully you know we should display a message which will be using view model dot show snake bar and we can say account created successfully okay and similarly in the same way on the sign up screen that is when the form is validated you know which is auth view model when the form is validated successfully and we start executing our this code so before execution of this code we can say please wait so this was all about how to sign up the seller